friends i've gotten a lot of questions on how i type so fast not so much on youtube because i don't type much in my vlogs but a lot in real life i can type up to a raw score of 190 words per minute but depending on the website and depending on how long i have to type for my high score ranges from like 170 to 190 but i would say my average is about 140 150. to put wpm into perspective the average is about 40 words per minute and a score of 150 puts you in the top 99.9 percentile of typists or just people. Let's start with the tips. I wholeheartedly believe that one of the main reasons why I type so fast is because I played a lot of games but mostly MapleStory as a kid and in MapleStory you have to keybind all of your skills to a specific key on the keyboard. Naturally you have to memorize your keyboard in order to most efficiently farm monsters. So my first tip is muscle memory aka touch typing to be able to type without looking at the keyboard. This doesn't mean you have to know the order of the letters or to literally memorize the keyboard it just means to have the muscle memory to type without looking at it when i type i never think about where the keys are and i never look for the key my hands and fingers kind of just translate my thoughts onto the keys also i do have notes here which is why i'm looking down but muscle memory hands down is the fastest way that you'll improve you can practice this in a lot of ways but it is practice at the end of the day the best way to do this is with typing websites which i break these websites down into three different categories raw score practicality and games raw score websites obviously test your raw score my favorite one is monkey type because the ui is just really really pretty and there's like a graph that tells you how fast you're typing throughout those 30 seconds or minute or whatever 10 fast fingers is also a very popular one as for practical websites i consider practical websites as websites that are intended to help you improve or just test your typing speed in a more practical sense like with grammar and punctuation and sentences and whatnot. KeyBR.com helps specifically with touch typing. I don't use this one because I already know how to touch type and I've tried it out and it's like kind of tedious but <laughs> if you really want to learn how to type faster I would recommend this one out of all of these websites that I'm mentioning now. A classic one is Type Racer. I made an account very very long time ago. Monitor. <laughs> Okay, um, I would also recommend making an account because it's just fun and very satisfying to look at your progress. I feel like when you can actually see your progress, that's when you want to improve at something or really work at something. This one's a bit harder though because there's actual grammar and punctuation involved, but I like to race my friends and my brother on Type Racer. You can also race people from around the world, so it's a really good way to just race against people and to kind of put more pressure on yourself. Because <laughs> when you're actually racing someone, it's like, oh god, I want to win. Or maybe that's just me. Third one, typing games. Typing games are really good because it just feels good to be a new level and to just play games. I used to play a lot of Z-Type, a web game. As you progress in the game, you have to type more words to be able to win and it's always fun trying to beat your high score. But to be honest, if you're trying to just start anywhere, just like somewhere, I would recommend typing your name. Just learning how to type your name fast. Type your name without looking at the keyboard because for me personally, the fastest word I know how to type is my own name and I think it's just like a small step that you can start with. My second tip is hand positioning. So there are actually little indents on the F and J key because that's where your index fingers should be resting. There's a lot of specifics here, so I will probably include some slow-mos of me typing or whatever. On my right hand, I actually only mostly use my index finger and my middle finger for the bulk of the keyboard. My right pinky, I only press enter and backslash. My right thumb, I only press the spacebar and my right finger, I use the back backspace button which you don't have to memorize these i feel like you'll figure this out once you learn how to touch type in general though our pinkies are very weak i feel like if you play piano you have an advantage but otherwise most of us our pinkies are super weak same thing with my left hand my left pinky i literally only use for the a key caps lock and shift for all the other keys on the left i mostly use my ring finger but if you're learning how to type i also recommend not learning how to use caps lock i recommend just learning how to use shift to capitalize letters because i grew up learning how to use caps lock which is not very efficient because i have to press it twice so learn how to use shift if you're learning how to type my last tip is shortcuts so these are also quite specific but these are the ones i use on a daily basis also have a windows so control will probably be command on a mac control t to open a new tab control shift t to open the tabs that you just closed control a to select all and control backspace to delete a word speaking of control a and control backspace if you're typing and you make a mistake and you pick up 
have your cursor and you go to that mistake, it just takes really long. <laughs> what I do is I either just control backspace the whole word or I control A the entire thing, delete it and just retype the whole sentence. But that's obviously because I type fast enough where picking up the cursor takes longer. But I think learning to keep your hand on the keyboard is really, really good. Whenever you make a typo, I recommend just trying to learn how to use control A, delete or control backspace. For general faster computer usage, learning to utilize your keyboard arrows as well is really helpful because you can use your arrows to go to your mistake too but you can also use up and down arrows to scroll through websites you can use left and right to scroll through youtube videos i think it's just most efficient to keep your head on the keyboard and learn how to use your keyboard efficiently also if you have a windows using the windows key to search things up is faster than picking up your cursor and going to the search bar my current keyboard doesn't have a number pad but if you do have a number pad i think learning how to type on the number pad is also very efficient instead of using the numbers on the normal keyboard. So the last thing I wanted to address was, okay, thanks for the tips, but how did you learn how to type fast? And I kind of wanted to address this because when people ask me how I learned how to type fast, I don't really know what to say. I started using the computer at a very young age and I didn't mean for this to happen. It just kind of did. I remember being in second grade and everyone had to type up their essays and people were taking too long. So I would type people's essays for them. Like I would type my classmates essays. First grade, my teacher asked me to help type like parts of the yearbook. I just started using a computer really, really young. I also play piano, so my fingers naturally are stronger. However, with that being said, I was really trying to think of things that I've used in more recent years to learn how to type faster. I always bring it back to these three things that I shared today. I literally cannot think of anything more helpful, but if I had to boil it down to one thing, I would boil it down to practice after muscle memory. I think most people can't improve because they don't put in the effort to learn how to touch type. To type with Without looking at the keyboard because if you don't learn how to do that you're going to be stuck on a plateau i think just putting in a little bit more effort to learn how to touch type will make your typing so much more faster like you'll improve so much eventually you'll plateau again but with enough practice you'll always get faster and faster if you're learning how to type fast you're probably going to plateau before you learn how to touch type then you're going to get really fast and then you're going to plateau again but then after that it'll be like a linear increasing line sorry to include math i think graphs are just good visualizations like i said once you're able to touch type it's all about practice or finding more efficient ways to type like using shortcuts like i mentioned those are all the tips i have i'll do my best to answer any questions if you have any and i'll of course link all of the websites in the description box i know that this video is kind of random but i feel like it would be a disgrace to this very random skill that I have if I didn't make this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. I should have screen recorded that. <laughs> this is just for the B-roll. I This is literally my PR. Oh. <laughs> I spent, you know, I spent like an hour yesterday trying to hit 190.